Everybody stand, please. <laughs> okay. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a fun night ahead of us tonight. This is exciting for us. We like to see these kind of nights. First, we have the approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of April 8th. We need a motion, please. I'll make the motion. Approvals for the second split. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Nice things happening. Mr. Blaskowski, we'll turn that over to you. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming tonight. Big crowd. We have a lot. We have a lot to celebrate today, which is always a nice night to do, is to celebrate our students and all the things that they do above and beyond uh, regular school day. So, uh, Miss Teresa Janae is going to help me do this. Um, let me kind of give you the lay of land. What we're going to ask you to do is we're going to call up your principal first of of the middle school, and then the principal will call up the sponsor and then the sponsor is going to introduce each one of you so it's kind of and y'all are going to come up here y'all I sound like I'm in yeah. the south but you'll come up here and you'll line up here and it's being videotaped so you'll get to watch this on on television or on cable if you like and then you can show your kids when they when you have them so we're going to start with Roseville Middle School uh, could uh, Jason Benton come on up please He's here. Got our little cheat sheet. Yeah, give him a hand. <laughs> Don't be shy. Here's the one. Let's get started with that one. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you for coming here tonight, both from Roseville Middle and from Eastland Middle. And we have a very full room tonight, but this represents across both middle schools uh, a very, very small sampling of the number of students that are involved in these clubs, involved in these groups, involved in these organizations. Uh, everyone in the, the room tonight is here because our club sponsors nominated them as leaders of their individual clubs uh, but I think if we had everybody from across both middle schools in this room tonight we certainly wouldn't be able to fit in this room we probably have to move it into um, an auditorium uh, so parents I'd like to thank all of you for making sure your children are involved in school it's the one of the number one things you can do to help ensure their success in school keeping them involved uh, kids I'd absolutely uh, like to thank you guys for taking that ownership of your school, being that student voice in your school, and finding that way to get involved in school for uh, something that you like, something that you want to be a part of. Uh, we want to start tonight with the recognition uh, of some students that participated in the solo and ensemble, uh, a county-wide event and recognize their participation there, recognize their one rating, the highest rating that they can receive. Uh, and not only uh, did the work that they put in to get this rating happen in the classroom, a tremendous amount of work happens outside of the classroom. This competition happens on a weekend on their own time. Uh, and these ladies, young ladies did a fantastic job. But if I could have Miss Danielle Reese join us, and I'll have her introduce the young people. Hopefully I didn't steal everything you had to say. Well, for those that don't know, solo and ensemble is a huge deal, like Mr. Benton said. The kids practice on their own. They schedule time to work with either myself or each other, depending on what kind of ensemble they choose to be in. And they go and they perform either a solo or some form of chamber ensemble for a judge. And the judge, based on that one performance, gives them a rating. And a one which is marked superior, is the highest rating they can receive. And all of the events that went for Roseville Middle this year received a one, so that was a huge deal. So we're gonna call them up individually. Oh, I can call them up. I do. In the, your packet, it actually has, a couple of them are playing several things. So I'll call you up individually, but I'll talk about what you did. 
So we will start with Caitlin Miller. Caitlin received a one on her bassoon solo, and she also was in a clarinet trio, which also received a one. And then Jessica Miller performed a flute duet, which received one, and then she was also part of the trio that received the one. No, that was the other Jessica, sorry. There's five Jessicas. Well, there's two, but. Apologies, Jessica Olinger performed with a flute duet and flute trio and received the one. And then Maddie Poppery went with a clarinet solo and she was also part of the trio in both events receiving one. This is a huge deal, especially in the music community. A lot of kids perform for soul and ensemble and not all of them receive ones all the time. Not that if you receive other anything other than a one, it's bad, but a one is the highest rating you can receive. So it's a huge deal if they did an outstanding job. Uh, I brought my mom with me. Bob, raise your hand so we can see. I brought my friend's mom. <laughs> I brought my mom and my sister. Next up, we have some uh, awards for the Roseville Middle School Choir. I'll pass it back to Miss Reese. She'll be up here for a little bit. Um, the choir leaders actually weren't really sought out. It's just the students in the class that demonstrate leadership, um, the ones that I kind of go to. And I'm not saying that there's only two total choir leaders in that classroom. However, these were the two. Um, that were selected. Is Sydney Masterson here this evening? No? Well, Sydney's receiving an award for being a choir leader. We can applaud for her. And then I did see Taylor Nyball. She is also receiving an award. Dad, grandparents, and my brother. Good, thank you. Now on to band. Um, the band leaders are the students who auditioned and were chosen to be the drum majors, which are the leaders of the marching portion of band. However, they are also the go-tos in class. We got questions, and need something. They're the first people I reach. So I don't know if Laura Jones is here this evening. Is Laura here? Applause for Laura. <laughs> And let's bring Caitlin Miller back up here. She is also one of our drum majors. <laughs> I'm not certain that Kaylee Nagorni is here this evening. Is she here? Applause for Kaylee. And then Maddie Poppery, come back up. She is also one of our drum majors. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep Miss Reese up here uh, for one more. Miss Reese, in, a, in addition to running our music program, where she has over 40% of our students going through her doors uh, every single day as part of our band, as part of our choir, uh, is also our National Junior Honor Society sponsor uh, and works with those kids during the school day, after school as well. So we want to recognize our NJHS leaders also. I'm actually going to go in grade order. They're listed in alphabetical order in your program, but I'm going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to start with the seventh grade leadership. Is Trayvon Love here this evening? 
He is our seventh grade president. Okay, applause for Trayvon. And Madeline Angst is our seventh grade secretary. She can come on up. <laughs> Moving on to our eighth grade, we have Nevea Dirksen is our eighth grade secretary. Kaya Reese is our eighth grade vice president. I'm not sure she's in attendance this evening. Applause for Lakaya. And then Taylor Nibel can come on back up. She is our eighth grade NJHS president. Okay, you're on. Can I do this with you? I brought my mom and dad. Basically, my whole family. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, dad, grandparents, brother. <laughs> Next up, we have student council from Roseville Middle School. And I'll ask our sponsors, Mrs. Lineman and Ms. Legato, to join us and explain a little bit about what Student Council is all about and recognize the leaders in that program. Okay, I'm Ms. Lineman. This is Ms. Legato. We both run our Student Council. Our kids have really worked really hard at getting different things for our extravaganzas going. Um, the parade, they helped put the parade together for homecoming, pep rallies, what else? Um, Yes. Me too. It's on the, on the spot. Anyway, our kids work really, really hard to do a lot of fundraisers. Pennies for pasta. We did pennies for pasta. I am really passionate about that, being a cancer survivor myself, even though it wasn't leukemia. Um, I'm very passionate about anything to do with raising funds to help other families. And we have helped families in the Roosevelt District, I found out from our sponsor this year. So, anyway, um, Kylie Kramer. Is our vice president. vice president and Devin Newsom and Devin Newsom? He okay. is our president. My name's Kylie Kramer, and I brought my mom. <laughs> Hi, my name is Devin. I brought my beautiful mother. <laughs> Next up, we have Roseville Middle School's Pokemon Club. If I could have Mr. Lang join us. Mr. Lang is one of our, our co-sponsors of what might be our most popular and most rambunctious club in the building, um, our Pokemon Club. Uh, it's one when we go and visit the elementary schools. Uh, Mr. Schultz loves it when I come and visit lunches at here on Park and talk about the Pokemon Club and how we're allowed to play Pokemon at lunches and get his kids very excited about coming to Roseville Middle to be a part of our Pokemon Club. Uh, as Mr. Bent said, I'm John Lang, and I don't know, uh, I just have our one leader. I don't know, is Alex Casiglione here? I did not see him. Um, we have several members. Don't ask me what they're doing. I have no idea. Um, they have a great time, and Alex is a great leader, great student, uh, great person. Um, and also Yeah, come on up here. I don't put the trial. You are not Six here, correct? Six pence heck, I know that. No, so I'm going to represent the <coughs> trial offer. And um, Josh, come on up. Josh is, is one member it's of the Garden time. Club, and I know what a good job he does. Uh, Mr. Schweighoffer relies on him uh, to help us out, you know, setting up some experiments sometimes. He gets our garden going for the spring. Um, very dedicated, does it all on his own. So I uh, want to give a big hand to the Josh. Uh, 
I'm Josh, and I'm here with my mom and my dad. <laughs> and I'll echo what uh, Mr. Lang said about two things. You know, the, the extraordinary work Josh does with Mr. Schweighoffer and the Garden Club and getting things going uh, for our, our garden this time of year. Um, and also, Mr. Lang took over the Pokemon Club about mid-year. And when he said, don't ask me you know, what the kids are doing, he said, I don't know anything about Pokemon. You want me to take this club over? I said, it doesn't matter. Mr. Zuba didn't know anything about Pokemon either. All you have to do is open up a room, and these kids will do what they need to do, and they will enforce the rules and they will play Pokemon and they will oust their leaders if they they feel the rules aren't being followed for the club and uh, the kids have an awful lot of fun doing that so Mr. Mike thank you Very <laughs> uh, next up we'll do the anti-bullying club and Miss Miller is in the back there and Miss Miller is our sponsor for our anti-bullying club um, which was started by uh, some young ladies as part of a Girl Scout project. Um, and I'll let Miss Miller take it from here. Good evening, everyone, board members, community members, parents, grandparents. Um, yeah, Anti-Bullying Club Cheyenne Smith came to me with this idea. She wanted to start this club. Uh, a lot, and I've just been so inspired working with the kids, hearing them voice you know, their opinions, and being so just knowledgeable about things that are going on in our world today, standing up for others. I, I really, really um, enjoy running this club with them. So I can uh, call up the members. They're doing great work over there. We have uh, Cheyenne Smith. Smith. I don't know if they're here. Scarlett Martin. Shall, let's see. Brooklyn Hollyfield. And Adriana Young. Cheyenne and I brought my grandmother and my mom. Next up we have the Roseville Middle School Dance Club. Miss Miller is also our sponsor of that. We've got a, a number of great staff members. You can see that we're an awful lot of hats uh, to make sure kids' school experiences are successful. Um, so I will turn it over to Miss Miller to introduce any dance club leaders that we have here. All righty. So when I got to Roseville two minutes, two year Roseville Middle School, sorry, two years ago, I instantly had a group of girls that said, "Mrs. Miller, we want to start a dance club." And uh, someone heard that I used to dance in college on my dance team, so the word got out pretty fast. But it has been awesome. The girls that I chose for to be recognized tonight are, they come and they give 110 percent every time. I never, I have to give, never have to give them reminders. They dance full energy. They're great, uh, just great representatives representatives of the club and they're also willing to step up and give compliments and help the girls that are kind of nervous so uh, to be recognized tonight for dance club we have uh, Caitlin Goodman Pash Jillian Wayne and Desire Hendricks you're all here along with your teacher you could dance for us tonight you want to do that <laughs> <laughs> my name is Caitlin and I brought my dad my name is Jillian and I brought my mom and my dad my name is Desire and I brought my mom my sister and my cousin Next up, we have the art club, and Mr. Benton will handle that. Ms. Stoles couldn't be here tonight, uh, but our art club 
is a fantastic group of students that take their time after school um, and have a passion in art. They may not currently be in an art class. You know, they may have uh, in a third trimester have gone through all of our art classes. Uh, but these students uh, take their own time to learn more about art. If you've ever been in the Roseville Middle School cafeteria, there's a, a, a beautiful mural um, that's on the, the cafeteria wall that I, uh, two years ago, three years ago, um, our art club, even over the summer, was coming in and painting. Um, we try and find spaces within the building every year for our art club to add to it, to, to paint and put murals on, on the walls. Um, and it's just a really great group of kids. You walk into an art club meeting, you can see 30 or 40 kids uh, that are there, that are learning, learning more about art and improving their craft. And two of our leaders of our art club, I don't believe either of them are here. I haven't seen them. Lachlan, are you here? I didn't see you. Uh, Lachlan is one of our art club leaders, regularly in attendance at, at every meeting, uh, coming up with great ideas that for the art club for the school. Uh, and our other member, who I also don't know if she's here, Elena Anderson. I didn't see her. Uh, Elena is also an art club member, again, attending every meeting, um, is there coming up with ideas for creativity in the school, for posters. She was actually the district Christmas card winner this year. Um, and these students, along with everyone, uh, just does a, do a fantastic job. Uh, so let's just give a round of applause, not only for these students, but for all of our students. Uh, thank you, Mr. Benton. By the way, uh, some of uh, Ms. Stoltz's uh, artwork is behind you on the wall. Um, each month, a uh, art teacher in the district uh, will bring some artwork in and display it in our boardroom. Um, it's one way that we can show off some of the progress that our kids make in art. Um, it, it is a, a valuable program for all kids to participate in. Um, it's funny because my, my wife had to take an art class, right? So she's not old, but she's old, younger than me. But she had the first time she ever took an art class. And to watch the transformation of, of learning those skills is just amazing. Of course, she drew a picture of Johnny Depp, right? And, and uh, what's the guy, Ryan uh, Reynolds. Uh, I start getting nervous because, you know, she picks <laughs> good looking guys compared to me. So, But encourage your kids to try art. It, it, just because you're not good at it doesn't mean that you can't try it and learn some skills. So I encourage them to do that. Next up, we're, we have Eastland Middle School. So Dr. Mickens, come on up. Oh, first of all, one, I want to uh, reiterate everything that Jason said about the clubs and having students involved. Um, the one thing that I can say is uh, about Eastland is we have, well, we have a little bit of a smaller staff, so it takes um, our staff to, you know, they have to do like many hats Jason was talking about. We have staff that's pretty much doing the same thing. They're doing multiple things, um, serving on multiple, and coming to dances and doing a little bit of everything that we need them to do. Um, so I'm going to bring up first somebody who wears a ton of hats is Miss Brenda Baker. <laughs> Ms. Um, Ms. Baker is over our National Junior Honor Society, so she's going to go through and talk about those students. Hi, everyone. Um, I work with the National Junior Honor Society students, and the four leaders that are here tonight have given so much of their time after school. The four combined students alone have racked up over 200 volunteer hours on their own time, helping the school out, helping other teachers out in different buildings, working with their churches, with small groups, uh, band, they, they do it all, and I'm really, really proud of them. So if we could have Austin Barnett. Grace Patterson. Candace Stackpool. and Anthony Weckwert. My name is Austin and I came here with my mom, dad, brother, and sister. 
My name is Grace, and I brought my parents and two sisters. My name is Candace, and I brought my dad. My name is Anthony, and I brought my mom, dad, and brother. Next up, we will have, oh, she's still here, isn't she? Oh, who, is she going to fill in for me? Okay. Ms. Baker is going to fill in for Ms. Gardner, who is, uh, Ms. Gardner is over our student congress. So student congress is responsible for all of our PEP assemblies, um, any kind of activities that we do throughout the month. We've had a mitten drive. We've done uh, pasta for pennies. They were a part of with NJHS. And the leaders who are here tonight are Thomas Gannon. He is our seventh grade president. Amari Mosley is our eighth grade class president. And Faith Tucker is our sixth grade class president. Um, I'm Thomas Gannon and tonight I brought my two my two siblings, my parents, and my great aunt. My name is Amari, and I brought my mom. Hi, my name is Faith, and I brought my mom, my dad, my grandma, my aunt, my sister, and my mom. <laughs> Keeping Baker up here because she, once again, wears so many hats. Um, Ms. Baker is also going to do the choir as well as the welcome committee. Um, but the choir is ran by Ms. Collins, um, who, who is not here this evening. And the welcome committee is ran by Ms. Boston Berry. Um, she just had a baby, so she's at home with her, with her new one. Um, so Ms. Baker is going to do the choir first. They never let me sing in choir. It's sad. <laughs> no, no, I... I know some people just had dinner. So. Um, for I want to keep it down. Uh, for choir, we have Mackenzie Sawicki. And we also have Madison Rogers. Let's see Madison. Mackenzie and I brought my family. <laughs> For the welcome committee, that is run by Ms. Bosenberry, like Dr. Micken said, they are responsible for introducing the building uh, to any new students. Whenever we receive a new student, they walk a student around, they introduce them to all of their teachers, new students, they make sure that they can get their locker open, they, they, they check in on them daily. They are also responsible for when our fifth graders come over, they walk them around, they uh, work with them in small groups to make sure that they feel comfortable coming into a brand new environment. So for our welcome committee, we have Sam Gwynn. And Kathleen Rabogio. Is Chloe Crispin here? All right. My name's Sam, and I bring my mom and my sister. My sister's the one that looks a little mean right there. <laughs> You're in trouble, you know. You're asking for it, you? My name is Kathleen, and I brought my dad and my cousin. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you, Thank you, Mr. Thank you. We 
will do the game club. We'll do the game club next. That is run by Ms. Drake. I've actually went down to the game club. They're doing chess and backgammon and some of everything. So they do a lot of different games. Um, but they have a really good time. And I've came down and played chess with them a couple times. They're pretty good. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. Um, yes, we start off as chess club. We've kind of morphed with um, the direction of Dr. Mickens yeah, into a lot of board games and card games. Um, so it's a lot of fun. We have um, a lot of kids that come, and some of them bring their own game so we can teach other people, uh, and we're learning new games each time. Um, my leaders that I've chosen uh, would be Kenny Steinenball. and Thomas Gannon. Mm -hmm. Can you guys play Euchre? Because I like to play Euchre. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my mom, Big D, Grandma, and Grandpa. My two parents, my two siblings, and my great aunt. Okay, next up we're going to do the dance club. Miss, Miss Bodie. Miss Bodie might be able to show us some moves. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hi, I was also kind of approached um, by a group of girls that wanted to start a dance club. Um, so I told them I would be their sponsor, but um, I made the rule that they had to come up with everything. So they did an awesome job uh, coming up with the dances. They really helped each other. They did a lot of research on YouTube. Um, so they did a great job. All right, and the two uh, leaders that I picked, I picked these girls because they did put a lot of effort in and they showed up every day. Um, I first have uh, Yasmin Harvin. And Aiden Lahan. You girls are gonna dance and you're the ones left, you know. <laughs> don't, get bored. We're looking. don't get don't get nervous. I was just <laughs> Hi, my name is Yasmin Harvin, and I brought my grandmother. <laughs> Hi, my name is Eden Lahan, and I brought my mom and my sister. Hmm. Now we'll bring up Mr. Bell for the band. Well, Mr. Bell's coming up. I know that uh, Rose and Middle is probably similar to us. I know people are wondering, how did you get these clubs? Well, in, at Eastland, I'm sure Rose and Middle is very similar. All we need is a couple of students. If three or four students come up to us and say, hey, you want to start a club? We have an idea. Um, they literally, that's all they need to do. We find them a sponsor, and they can start the club. We try to see how many names they can get. So obviously, we don't do clubs with one or two people. But if they get five kids, six kids, seven kids, and they get a sponsor, they can have a club. So that's how you hear all these names, like the Pokemon Club or something like that. All that normally happens is a couple of students come up to me or, or Mr. Benton and they say, hey, I, wanted, I, I think I have a good idea for a club. Um, we get a sponsor and that's how the club starts. So literally, you can have a club pretty much anything. We tell the fifth graders and fourth graders coming up that if they have any ideas, it's something that they can do. So that's just a little tidbit on how we get all these different clubs that, that come up. So. All right, for band, um, first hour I have 40 students walk in with noisemakers. So, and there's many talented noisemakers. So I had to pick up a couple here, and uh, Paige Gwynn is uh, one of our student leaders in band. She would put most Marines to shame. Um, the girl walks in, sits down, she's focused for 55 minutes. You don't hear her say a word. She just plays her tenor sax, she's done, she's out the door. She does a great job. And then we also have Nathan Donaldson. If I have my back turned and I hear this really high screeching trumpet that's just sailing over everybody else, 
I can turn around and 99 times out of 100 it's Nathan. Ask me what note did I hit that time? <laughs> so he does a tremendous job and he's really helpful with the trumpet section. I'm Paige and I brought my mom and my brother. My name is Nathan and I brought my mom. One thing you also need to know is these uh, staff members, they volunteer a lot of their time to do this, um, to allow the kids to, to have an opportunity. So could you give a round of applause for these staff members? It can't happen without them, so I really do appreciate them taking the extra time out of their day to be able to do that. So, did you want to say? All these students that you see, we're probably going to see in the next few years coming from the high school at the wards, and they come one or two or three or four awards, and we look forward to seeing all your faces again for other awards coming up. Okay, so keep up the good work. Thank you. Before we um, let everybody go for a recess, we'd like to have um, comments from the Board of Education members because they'd like to say a few things. So we'll start with Mr. McCartney. So I'd just like to say congratulations to all the kids and the staff, of course, for all their extra help. And for all the kids, you know, it, it, it really bodes well for your future to, to put in this extra time for these extracurricular activities. It kind of bodes well for our future, too, to, to know what hard workers you all are. So good job. I'm very uh, proud to be part of this community. I lived here all my life, and it seems like it uh, keeps getting better and better. Uh, thank you to all the parents for watching out and making sure that kids are doing what they're supposed to do. And good to see all the kids working hard and, and the staff uh, as well. Thank you. As Dr. Mickens and Mr. Benton stated, uh, you know, thank you parents for, you know, picking them up, dropping them off, but this is a great opportunity for them to, you know, to be active in their school and, uh, you know, more active in school is less active, you know, out on the streets, so continue that and uh, thanks for everything. Okay. I'd like to say it's really great uh, to see all the parents come out and see uh, the, the young people working hard. Uh, I got some great grandkids coming up and yeah, I'm proud for them to be in the district and, and following behind the, these experts that I've seen here tonight. So keep up the good work and you'll make it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anderson. <laughs> All right, I would just like to thank the uh, teachers and staff. Without the you guys, none of this could be even possible. You guys put in a lot of hard work. It's appreciated. And uh, to the parents, make sure to keep up your kids on doing things like this, because sometimes they just need a little kick in the right direction for things like this. And uh, students, well, use this find things that you enjoy, stick with it, and go with it as long as you can. Thank you. <clears throat> last but not least, Mr. Francis Goldman. Yeah, last, last but not least, uh, <laughs> I'd like to congratulate <clears throat> all the students and, and the parents and the families. It's always an honor to have you here, and like Mrs. Janae said, we'll see you in high school. Mr. Francis Coney, you're not last. You're still <laughs> us. Everything that's been said, ditto. Um, students, we really appreciate you being involved. Uh, parents, you don't know how much you're helping your uh, youngsters by encouraging them to be involved. It's great to see grandparents and other family members here, all of you supporting these young people. And I'd like to take a second just to recognize Danielle Reese, 
and a lot of you probably saw her in action a couple weeks ago at Bandorama. The band director at the high school became sick within that day for the first time. Off the bench came Danielle and she led the whole uh, Bandorama that night and it was an excellent night. So personally, thank you, Danielle. Where are you? Thank you. I <laughs> This is going to be on cable television when, Mr. Janae? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bleskowski, anything else? I think I said it. Diane? Congratulations to all the students and a big thank you to the parents. As a parent myself, I know how difficult it can be sometimes to get your kids back and forth to various activities. And when they grow up, you know, have kids of their own, they'll look back and appreciate it. Mr. Hadmark. Thank you to the students for their hard work and their dedication and parents for sharing them. And a real special thank you to staff for making it possible. Uh, whether you know Pokemon or not, to be there and support them so that they can love it and enjoy it. Thank you so much from band and dance and everything else. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I truly laugh at that one, I guess. I, as an administrator, yes. As an administrator, yes. yes. So congratulations, everyone. I'm a former graduate of Roosevelt School. And a couple years ago. I, I can still dance and sit. <laughs> I really can. But we go through a lot of that. Uh, it's something that uh, you guys need to stay involved with. Uh, very exciting, and you'll enjoy it for the future, guaranteed. <laughs> Now we have the first public hearing. Does anyone from the public wish to be heard at this time? We can do public hearing before we release you if you'd like. Anyone from the public? All right, then we're gonna take a five minute recess because I know you all wanna go home and do your homework and everything. <laughs> Happy Easter everybody, thank you.